31, 2024. Happy New Year. Good day to you today, tomorrow, and every day. May you, including myself, may we discover today and every day how blessed we are. In times I find I may have felt afraid to set boundaries because of either someone not liking me or give me a harder time. I think that would call under fall under the category of codependency patterns. When we do something from out of fear, out of anxiousness, out of anxiety, that usually comes from a codependency pattern. So nice to study these things. So as a result, neither my thoughts nor feelings did seem to be of importance or value. So they were pushed aside. That push and pull, right? What is not healthy? Behavior. This is called suppression. This suppression is unhealthy behavior. We don't speak our truth. We don't speak up. We shy away from issues. We deny that we have feelings or even our own thoughts. Oh, right? Uh, so what happens there? We feel like, and you can go on with the myriad of feelings that we feel when we're, we're uh, experiencing suppression. Suppression is not healthy and it's a, a healthy, it's not a healthy mode of behavior. You know, so what is the opposite of suppression? One may ask, and one may get curious about, right? So what is a healthy mode of behavior? So the answer to opposite of suppression is expression, expressive thoughts. We do this in journaling. We do this in creative work. We do this even when we do our, our walks, like a, our meditation. We release those, right? We start expressing our thoughts. As uh, It's not about how we do, how we express ourselves. It's about understanding. The first step to expression is understanding that we can speak up. We can speak what we're feeling from within. So feel free to do fast check on that. So like in the twilight zone, I may feel a sense of social awkwardness. Finally, today is a brand new day. May you start each day as a brand new day as well. Letting go of what could, should, would have been. If I never have made any mistakes. Wow. I'm not God, right? Wow. Whoa. <laughs> uh, the mistakes I made in the past were, were there to teach me a beautiful lesson. Mistake is not the same thing as negative energy. A mistake is what it is. Something we don't know and we get to know. So it turns out to be beautiful lessons to grow, learn, and teach myself to be quick to forgive myself. Oh, that was just a mistake. I'm a human being right? And learn from that. Now, to be quick to forgive myself for things or situation or people whom I've had not handled very well. <clears throat> All right? We can't, ha it's really hard to handle somebody else very well if we don't handle ourselves very well. If we don't understand our own thought process, our own, where am I going with that? Instead of saying, oh, where they are going with that? Well, how about where am I going with that, right? in my own experience. So that was perfect. That was perfect lack of self understanding <laughs> through no fault of anyone. Right? It is so beautiful to let go of making everything perfect and everyone perfect. Right? Painting them with the best brush ever. <sighs> with no flaws. <laughs> the feelings will is recommended directed directs people from the could, have, or should have, or would have, 
deliberate states of mind is is fear and or resentment mode back to reality the really who how am I feeling today and how are you feeling today without the pretentious behaviors with and with real boundaries of my likes, my dislikes, as well as your likes and dislikes. As in health class in grade school or middle school, we are shown healthy boundaries versus what is not healthy boundaries, right? And the dips again is something I learned later on in life. It's an acronym I learned later on in life. Dignity, interindependence, preference, privacy, and safety. And uh, when I was taught dips, it was all about what you do for others, right? It's okay to focus on ourselves. Focus back onto the self, right? Self-dignity, self-interdependence, self-preference, self-privacy, and self-safety. Because we, it's really hard to believe those things for others if we don't believe them for ourselves, like claim them for ourselves, and then we can share them with others, right? Uh, in relationship with God, in relationship with self, in relationship with our loved ones, love, loved one, boundaries, loved ones, boundaries, love is the highest power. Dignity with love, interdependence with love, preference with love, privacy with love, safety with love. Without love, this acronym or any acronym means nothing, right? With love, acronyms, metaphor, words, conversation have meaning, and especially relationships. Hmm. This is my name, Juji, expression with love. January 2nd. The biggest, the bigger the boo-boo, the more time to heal. And sometimes it's not always about time. Sometimes it's just to make a choice to connect to what, to reconnect to the self-value, to re reconnect to basic values and boundaries that we know, that we know, that we know are healthy for us. The feeling, feelings work. We haven't done that for a while. The feelings work. I will work. The feelings will work. Right? For fears and resentment. Feel like there are not enough. Powerless. What do you feel? Where do you feel this in your body? Feel vulnerable and afraid? No sense of order or, or and or organization at home? Struggles with nightmares and flashbacks, unobserved, subconscious, obsessive thoughts, lack of self-awareness to observe realistic daily goals, struggles to see beauty in themselves, negative self-stop to make a list of self-value daily. Feel now where, where they normally would not. Work on your feelings, Will. Struggles and put with putting their struggles with putting their guard or boundaries down. Make a list of um, so make a list of dislikes. Create a boundary line. Feeling disconnected from the true self, from their true self. Denial, fantasy, external, limerence. Try doing meditation journaling art, something you know is the right thing for you. Join a cooking class. Meet with people who are looking out for your best interests. Please be patient with yourself. The grief, the trauma, the pain takes time to heal. Takes time and not some you know, within yourself, takes the time to heal from what from. Give yourself a fighting chance and take this time as a learning opportunity. Opportunity or opportunities to do what you can see works for you. It takes at least one to two years to heal from feeling not enough, feeling vulnerable, over vulnerable and afraid, etc. Struggling with nightmares and flashback. 
struggling with seeing the beauty in yourself, feeling numb, feeling like your boundaries are not respected, feeling disconnected. Please be patient with yourself, the grief. The trauma, the pain takes time to heal from your the pain takes time to heal from you are worth this. You matter. You have morals and values. You have a conscience. You have needs and wants. You have boundaries. You have limits. You have self-awareness. You have your negotiable and non-negotiable. Be kind to yourself and practice the pause and self-love and self-awareness. January 3rd, 2024. To thine own self be true. There lies a balance between the crisis and the peace. What is complacency? <laughs> Sorry if I mispronounced that. What is putting up with? What is not speaking up? Being complacent. There we go. What is being complacent? What is putting up with? What is not speaking up? This is called fear of being treated in a disrespectful manner. This is also called the reason for the resentments. This is a, to be accessed, viewed, and acknowledged. This is not about the thoughts, concept, feelings of another. This is about your self-concept. This is about your self-awareness. This is about understanding yourself. For all in all, self-esteem work is not telling another how to think, how to believe, how to feel, especially if my own individual, pay, individual pace, modified pace, is to heal from hurt. First, I must acknowledge my own thoughts, then that take place from my own feelings and emotions. How to work. How to work th this through? Taking steps that brings the focus back to myself. Just like children need a routine and learn to grow and mature on a healthy matter, in a healthy matter, they need a routine. For when, you, for when a change takes place, in my experience, even as an adult, this is to be accessed, viewed, and acknowledged. This is to be reassessed, reviewed, and re-acknowledged. Starting my personal aware and awareness work, what works for me? Also, what does not work in the, this matter of perception? First, relationship. First, my relationship to the highest power is love. The relationship to self with the power of love. Then integrate that love in my relationship with others. But love always comes respect whether we feel this or not. Feelings come and go. Hence, checking in on my own personal health is, is through a feelings will or a chart. The feelings will, may, the feelings may not always be only laughing, only smiling, only being untrue with facades. This would be perhaps pretentious and suppression. The feelings may not always be sad, mad, upset, frustrated, angry, resentful, only being untrue and with facades. This would be perhaps pretentious in suppression. So this is why working through the process of healing is personal. I value my privacy. Why? This is my bubble. This is my boundary. This is a matter of speaking. This is my line in the sand. Reclaiming your authenticity. The true you. Know your worth and find your strength. Have a great day. January 4th, 2024. The moments of fears, the moment of resentments, the moments of codependency, the moments of PTSD, the moments of childhood trauma, or the, the moments of adult trauma are about the nightmares, the destructive relationship, the lack of boundaries, the lack of sleep, food, or shelter, a.k.a. crisis. This is about the worst day cycle. In self-agency, you lean towards your faith. Know your worth. You matter. Find yourself in courage. 
Best wishes on your healing journey, personal discovery. This is a process. The fears, the resentments, the codependency is that of a hurt, abused animal that is adopted. This is a, this is a theory. This is an example. The animal is led by fear, shame, denial about the worst day cycle. In fact, the hurt animal may perhaps perceive the worst day cycle will continue. The ad, ab, abdinilla <laughs> cannot make the difference between healthy and unhealthy. So the animal was colded or abused in perhaps many ways. When someone reaches to cuddle, all those awkward feelings rise in the neglected, abandoned fear levels rise, rise and, and the health and safety is in question. The animal reacts naturally so they're, so to their own, to their new family. Now you can validate the animal's reaction, although we may not condone what the mind perceives as bad behavior. This animal is to be treated with extra kindness and need a place where they feel safe, trusted, and protected. Sa feel safe, trust, and protected. The bound, the bonding, the love bounding, bounding process is what creates trust, health, and safety. In self-agency, emotional baggage is... Work through the process of emotional therapy. Understanding without judgment is validation that creates a safe and healthy purpose of healing. Children, like adults, play in places they feel safe. Children, like adults, play in places they feel safe. Children don't express themselves in places they don't they feel unsafe. Hope this message helps you on your journey today. January 6, 2024. Faith with love. The reality of fear mode. Fear leads fear led life means past sufferings, trauma and neglect hurt, fear, la fear leads back to resentments in one form or another. All people seek, all people seek a way of fear out of fear modes. When enough is enough with the negative narrative, so many people experience this mode. They do not seek to defend, engage, explain, nor personalize this negative energy. This is why we study about, about it, to change from what is not helpful or not healthy, not necessarily, or not productive. So let go of fear is not giving up on our faith. This not get this when we let go of fear is saying no to fear and saying yes to ourselves, right? It's not giving up. Uh, however, to observe realistic values that help make it na navigate the tests, trials, and hard times in life. Hanging on to fear makes life complicated, complex, and miserable. Right? Those are all the times we experience, oh, this is unfair, this is unjust, this is, you know, the list can go on and on. That's the, the, right? So, hanging on to fear makes life a little bit more complicated and complex and miserable. However, to let fear go and finding, however, to let fear go is finding hope, faith, and joy in all things. Faith comes as we incline to what is true, loving, kind, forgiving. T the tension leaves and, and uh, dissipates and good healthy energy is created more and more. This is how I describe faith with love.
this is not about giving up. This is about letting go. This is about making decisions about what works, what helps, and what heals. Letting go of the tension. Letting go of the negative patterns of thoughts. Letting go of fear. Letting go of what may be. Right? The ifs. Right? What if I would have done this? And what if I would have done that? Let go of that thought. Just let it go. Take a nice deep breath. When you feel yourself going into a negative narrative of yourself or others, take a nice deep breath and exhale. January 7, 2024. Vulnerability is a choice. If you feel pushed to be vulnerable, then make sure you know the difference. Is it, is this unsafe? Is this safe? Your gut is your intuition, your guide, and your discernment. Fear many times feels like, ouch, a.k.a. resentment. When I don't see, hear something kind in another or of, of another I, and say something unkind, this is the part of me within me that perhaps experienced an unkind moment. Simply means I need to practice self-compassion work a bit more. When hurt, blaming others is simply a sign I am to work through my own red flags. My ego is not my amigo. Ouch. January 8th, the fear, what am I afraid of? The resentment, where do I feel this in my body? The inner critic is the attachment style one latches on as a coping mechanism in the trauma bond stage of the unresolved issue. So the karmic, aka the worst day cycle continues till... In self-agency, the real inner person, person is ready to heal, like in the stages of metaphor, net, metaphorphosis. We choose to let go of the panic neuro, neuro pathway, aka the worst day cycle. This is familiar to the wounded soul and, and the bad experience. In life, the trauma bond, the latching on to the dream that of a superhero till we like the purpose and process of metamorphosis develop. We grow, we mature. The sign of the butterfly is a, often a sign of maturity in all aspects of life. January 9th, 2024. The fears, the resentment, the very things that seem like mysteries, suspense, the viewers streaking in panic mode. This usually happens when playing a game, watching a film, program, movie that counts, that counts on the vulnerability of innocent bystanders who end up feeling overwhelmed, unsafe, and anxious. This is a way to grab the attention of people who don't know the genre of these sadistic patterns, right? Sadistic patterns, where are they? It's about codependency. Sheer out of boredom, this, we then we wonder why say or feel like it, it life is unfair. In self-agency, one minimizes these types of programming and then back to the drawing board. What is safe? What is necessary? Oh, breathing is necessary, right? Taking time to regulate her breath, regulate her emotions, taking that time, right? A moment of peace. Once, you know, daily, once a day, twice a day, three times a day. What is safe? What is necessary? What is healthy? To again regain a sense of safety. To your heart and soul. This I told you 
the I told you so, this is a scary movie, does not jive to the person being jaded or feel like they're being jaded. You know? In self-agency, again, this is about individual emotions, feelings, thoughts, understanding process, acknowledging process, one day at a time, one moment at a time at times. Do not defend yourself for having boundaries. I like that one. The defend, engage, explain. <laughs> right? Personalize. I like that one. Do not defend yourself for having boundaries. Do not engage with what is nerve-wracking. Do not explain nor provoke violence uh, again against women, men, or or children, a.k.a. Homo, sup, homo sapiens. So as you perhaps personalize these bad behaviors, you start to understand this is not about you. This is about the bigger picture of abuse. So as you discern this concept, you stop taking this personally and make plans to enhance your life, not being put under the bus. In self-agency, we discover self-awareness. January 10th, the fears, the resentment, the devalue moments in a trauma-bonded relationship or situationship. We both experience the pain of being shamed, even though many moons ago in Psychology 101, aka also known as Parenting Class 101, I learned that we all, we are all, interconnected in one fashion or another the law of cause and effect will draw me to people who are like-minded and experience similar experiences in their lives this is what connects people in one dimension or another what is the healing when in the healing journey from the worst day cycle part of life the same pattern of devalue continues till we discover self-awareness of what is my part in this? How do I, how did I contribute and how do I make amends? Was I simply in love with the idea of someone else loving me more than I love myself? Was it this was what is the state of my core value? What is the state of my own self-esteem? The narrative is about owning our side of the street from one from one wounded from a wounded relationship instead of saying he or she or in relationship injury right instead of saying he or she is at fault this is not a sports show right what is my part of and what did i learn from this oh in those moments let's be curious and hyper hmm pathetical right oh in those moments let's be curious and hypothetical like mm -hmm. i probably believe in someone else to keep me safe and sound instead of taking my own initiative as children we do that but as we mature right we start taking on our own initiative to look out for ourselves for myself for example i make mistakes does not necessarily mean someone else will fix this for me as in childhood so oh in the moments i experience i devalue from others or congruent with the moments i felt like testing others accountability hmm let's do the math on this equation blaming others does not make me accountable nor responsible <laughs> it looks really think it through right understanding and learning is a process so in the here and now instead of going to others for approval i can take accountability for owning my side of my own experiences i have experienced this situation or relationship and put on my adult my adult woman virtues respect with love and let god empower me so that I am ready to change from the dis disempowering mindset to a better help. Trust in his spirit 
trust in his word, trust he brings life to me in abundant ways. God is good and just and loving. I believe that in childhood and I still believe that in adulthood. God is good and just and loving. Anything that goes outside of that is, uh, oh, my boundary is God is good and just and loving. You know, going back to what I know is true. That's really like as basic as basic can be, right? The fears, the resentment, the low or higher levels of consciousness, right? In self-agency, we practice awareness as we become aware the state of consciousness. Is, in the, is this a coping mechanism or is this in the here and now? The thing about our very own past experience is rising or raising our own level of awareness and consciousness and vibration. Two is and are the thoughts concept I am observing as my obser own observer based on old defense patterns. If I can raise my own self-awareness, think, feel, and choose, choosing to be the navigator of healing patterns to release the fears, the trauma, also known as pain and resentment. I feel so much better after doing steps for an hour. And th these releases the, the dopamine, dopamine chemicals that may have been, may have been or felt stuck in the past in the soul and body. What happens when I think, feel, and choose? What happens when I feel, think, and choose? This is my sense of self-agency. Does that mean I never will ever make mistake again? Does that mean I will never ever repeat a codependency pattern again? Does that mean I will never ever have a negative thought again? This simply means in self-agency I am the observer. This is self-awareness of my own senses that they be awakened to my likes and my dislikes. Like the story with the five chapters about the hole in the street. I have self-awareness of my own default, fear default. I can take a moment here and there, do deep breath, that works for me in my grown up mind. I have the option to renew my programming. This is a process of self gratitude and the process of self-gratitude and compassion helps. The hole in the street story. I walk down the street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I fall in. I am lost. I am helpless. It isn't my fault. It takes forever to find a way out. I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I pretend I don't see it. I fall in again. I can't believe I am in the same place but it isn't my fault it still takes me a long time to get out i walk down the street that same street there is the deep hole in the sidewalk i see it there i still fall in it's a habit my eyes are open i know where i am it is my fault i get out immediately i walk down the st same street this is the same deep hole. There is the same deep hole in the sidewalk. I walk around it. I walk down another street. January 12, 2024. I pray that whomever is reading or listening to this post today may be directed in the path they each need today to turn back to their own core values self-esteem work for me has been helping me to find balance in my own healing journey in my in my experience or from my experiences the fears the resentment of my past issues has a lot to do with my own sets of belief i carried with myself along the way 
This is known as the fight or flight mode, especially in the way of self-perception. I a lot of this I carried from hard to tangles, proving t to my low self-esteem is correct. Yes, low self-esteem. Let me submit myself to you as Lord and Master. Sad, however true. Recognizing recognizes how deception works. Recognizing how deception sneaks in. This is a default of low self-esteem. This is a default of the father of lies. I cannot worship two gods at the same time. You know that saying, you can only serve one God. Today, as I do self-esteem work, although I am believer that part of me that has helped me back on my own worst day cycle, not pause, not pause, pausing and reflecting within without fear and resentment and reality leading back to my a path of without fear and resentment and reality leading path to a self um def, with fear and resentment there's a path of self def, def, deception right so phrases like i don't deserve self-awareness studies i don't deserve letting go of my of the value also known as ruminations, the truth to perceive myself the way God perceives me would mean letting go of what does not serve purpose to me by his grace. Doesn't purpose to me or my life. And practice what is of good purpose. Is this necessary? Is this kind? Is this protective? If you hear a word or words that does not resonate with you, do it. Feel free to do a fast check, right? Know your beautiful worth. January 13, 2024. The fears or resentment is about the difficult experience or experiences and issues in life. And self-agency is true personal growth. True personal awareness. True personal understanding. True personal knowledge, right? Knowing God's Knowing God is your strength in the difficult moments, in the struggles, right? In the hardships, in the trials. God is your refuge. He's your shelter in time of need. God is your peace that passes all understanding. God is your provider, right? God is showing you that you are more than a conqueror. The fears, the resentments, the ultimatums of extracurricular activities. The ultimatums are perceived as fear, obligation, and guilt to the person who perhaps feels jaded. Often referred to as a victim, as the ongoing struggle of the person who may perhaps feel like a fool. Often referred to as the codependency, codependent. Not fair to expect the other to change. On both sides, it takes connecting to what is healthy versus what is not. Options are optional, just like children are taught that make are taught that they make their choices whether this is a bound uh, whether this is boundaries with respect or without uh, boundaries. Um, there is a need to practice better options. Now in self-agency, now in self-agency is about vision. One is aware of boundaries and there is core vision that could mean vision from within your heart and your soul. One is aware of boundaries and there are core values in a self-acceptance work. When discovering what does not work, like the hole in the ground story, the fears or resentment remains throughout. There was still a lesson the author and reader learned that yes, we experience fears and yes, we experience, experience resentments and yes, we experience struggles. This is a matter of tra trajectory, self-agency and self-leadership. Do we change this, which seems like taking on more than we can do? 
or a change in perception on how we view our situation or relationship. This is truly a matter of personal choice and personal awareness work. January 16th. How we connect, disco discover, dislodge false beliefs or false persona, remo removing the mask. What is underneath the layers of fears and resentment? The mask of vulnerability of the innocent person within needing to resp the respect of the boundary within the core values. Hiding behind the mask of deception, crossing the core value within the within. This creates havocs. In self-agency, in my own personal development, I learned that I don't have to hang on to that false narrative that was put on me by others consciously or subconsciously throughout my life. Yes, and same vice versa, right? So, uh, yes, I am the common denominator in all my relationships, my relationship to God, my relationship with myself, also my relationship with others and others, other or others. I understand my fears can turn into resentments. I also understand that as a mature person, I am also a healthy homo, homo sapien. I used to get tripped up on words like homo sapien till I searched the meaning. Now I seldom get tripped up on words, Some, you know, less and less. I may uh, not know on the words that I may not know. And then I do the work. This helps clear up my own bi biased beliefs as well as investing myself towards, you know, investing yourself towards your dreams, your vision, towards your success is simply your beautiful energy. Enjoy the moment.